Hello, church. It is Monday, May 11th. Happy Monday. So today I want to share with you the goose story. And it was written by Dr. Harry Clark Noyes, and it goes like this. Next fall, when you see the geese heading south for the winter, flying in V formation, you might consider what science has discovered as to why they fly that way. As each bird flaps its wings, it creates an uplift for the bird immediately following. By flying in V formation, the whole flock adds at least 71% greater flying range than if each bird flew on its own. When a goose falls out of formation, it suddenly feels the drag and resistance of trying to go it alone and quickly gets back into formation to take advantage of the lifting power of the bird in front. When the head goose gets tired, it rotates back in the wing and another goose flies point. Geese honk from behind to encourage those up front to keep up their speed. Finally, and this is important, when a goose gets sick or is wounded and falls out of formation, two other geese fall out with that goose and follow it down to lend help and protection. They stay with the fallen goose until it is able to fly or until it dies. Only then do they launch out on their own or with another formation to catch up with their group. So I wanted to share this story with you today because I think it's a great reminder of what it means to be church and most especially what it means to be church during a time such as this. From the Goose story, we are reminded People who share a common direction and sense of community can get where they are going more quickly and easily because they are traveling on the thrust of one another. In other words, we help one another, we pray for one another, and we lift one another up. And we get further when we learn to depend upon one another and to trust one another. We also learn from this story that it pays to take turns doing the hard jobs. We will all have our turns leading and following, giving and receiving. And finally, it is so important to affirm one another, to cheer one another on. Now, I don't expect you to start honking at one another. Who knows, depends on the day. But I think God asks us to encourage one another. When we gather together as church, whether we are gathering in person or gathering electronically, we have gathered in hope to lift one another up, to acknowledge our oneness, to share our burdens, to shout encouragements, and to remember that we are all willing to walk the journey with others who need us. No matter what happens along our journey, we are here to remind one another that no one is alone. We are acting together. We are looking out for one another. And we are lifting one another up when we falter. So let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for your many blessings and ask you to be present with each of us on this day. We ask that you hear all our prayers the ones that we speak and the ones without words that we hold in our hearts. We long for a cure and for not just this virus, but all sickness and illness that people are suffering with. We long for an end to the suffering and pain. And we ask that you would help us all to remember that you are always walking with us and holding us no matter how difficult the journey. Please be with all healthcare workers, chaplains, first responders, those who are sick and those who are dying on this day. Help to make us strong in spirit, courageous in action and gentle of heart. Let us meet others with compassion. Let us be a source of healing energy and help us to face each day with hope and joy. 
We ask all this in the name of our risen Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. It's good to be with you today, church. I hope that you are all well, and I will see you again soon. Bye.